the OG And they want the T on me, I swear these bitches nosy Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see I won't put no money on his head my When do I look at the camera? When do I look? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alicia Brittany and if you didn't know, now you know. Today I'm just showing you a simple, quick and easy way to achieve this hairstyle without flat ironing your hair. If you don't know and if you're not a subscriber of mine, which you should be, I've been trying to eliminate straightening my hair. Um, the only thing that I used to straighten were my sides, um, but everything else I just used gel and hairspray and you'll see the rest. So if you want to see how I was able to achieve this look, be sure to stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright guys, jumping right into the tutorial for this video, I just want to give a quick heads up that this video will not have a lot of talk over or voiceover, just because I feel like this hairstyle is kind of self-explanatory for a majority of the time. So because you guys know I'm not adding any heat to my hair, I'm trying my best to allow my hair time to revert back to the curls after experiencing heat damage. So I wanted to do a sleek braided ponytail but without excessive heat. So I'm using this time to section off my hair better in order for it to lay better for the mold. So I'm sectioning into two pieces and I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount of gel. Um, any type of gel that you use is fine. My preference is Eco Styler Gel. It's just something that I love to use because I feel like it has a really good hold. Um, because this gel is water based, my hair curls up as soon as I apply this. So um, it's kind of important to have a quick uh, ponytail time um, from the time you apply the gel to the time that you put it in a ponytail so once you apply the gel go ahead and separate it the bottom mold it down and then go ahead and you're gonna just put the top of your hair into that same ponytail and mold that down as well Alright guys, so here I am just trying my very best to get all that hair into a ponytail. This is the ponytail that you're going to care about the most because this is going to be the final ponytail. I'm not a huge fan of adding um, like a ponytail holder and then putting the ponytail to that, if that makes sense. Um, I'd rather just all my hair be in one single ponytail holder because I get headaches really easily whenever I do wear my hair in ponytails. So once you do this, make sure that it is to your liking because you are going to then have to mold this ponytail. Um, and I use wrapping foam or foam lotion as well as gel and edge control to be able to mold that. Um, Right here, I'm showing you guys that all I did was take regular line hair. This hair is pre-stretched. Um, I do prefer using pre-stretched hair because it is a lot easier um, for me to maintain, even though line hair is a headache for everybody. I don't know anybody who can use this hair and not be annoyed. Um, but you just want to start off by sectioning your ponytail into three sections and also using three sections of the Kaninki line guys and you're just going to braid. Um, I went ahead and added the tiniest bit of edge control to my natural hair so that way when I did braid this down my natural hair wasn't completely sticking out of the ponytail guys. Um, that is one way that it is an alternative to straightening your hair when you are doing a braided ponytail um, because I know a lot of stylists straighten out the ends of your hair 
however the ends of your hair are the oldest so they are the most fragile um so yes i didn't want to add that much heat so that is what i did um when you are doing any type of feed in braid it's also very important that you make sure that you're kind of measuring it by your fingers whenever you feel like it's getting skinny add hair okay just add just a little little bit of hair and eventually it will look like a full braid So guys, we are reaching the end of the tutorial. I just want to say, if you want your braid to last longer, I recommend dipping it in hot water. And if not, you are good to go with just tying it off with a rubber band and swinging that thing, girl. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them down in the description box below. And as always, yeah. share and like this video and share it with a friend. And I will see you in yeah. the next tutorial. Bye for now. Hey.